Kimo, where are you? He must have fallen in, but I don't see him. Okay, I need to get help. Hi, Unicorns. My name is Holly, and I am on a serious winning streak with these last to leave challenges. I think I just won the challenge. He left the treehouse. I win! So today, I want to challenge Timo to another last to leave challenge, but I want this one to be even more fun than the last two. So I'm gonna go find Timo and talk about what last to leave challenge we should do today. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. Hey, Timo, do you want to do another last to leave challenge? That'd be great, actually. I want to at least win one. All right, well, here's your chance. We just need to decide where we want to go. Like, where is this challenge gonna take place? How about uh, last to leave the airplane? I mean, yeah, it'd be cool, but... We don't have an airplane, and we don't have a pilot. Okay, how about last to leave the helicopter? Do you know how to fly a helicopter? Um, no. Do you? Uh-uh. Okay, um, what else have you got? How about last to leave the luxury yacht? Okay, I don't know about luxury yacht, but my dad has a friend who has a boat, so maybe we could do a last to leave the boat challenge. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Way out to sea, fighting through waves and storms. We'll probably encounter some whales as well, but usually they're pretty friendly. Yeah, and we'll have to bring lots of fresh water because people can't survive on salt water alone, and I'll probably meet and adopt a family of seals. I'll train them to be our camera crew. Oh, that's a great idea. Do you reckon you could train one of the seals to edit videos as well? I mean, probably. This is a last to leave the boat challenge, so we're probably gonna be at sea for a while. Should we go get some supplies? Well, the boat is docked at Granville Island Market, so we could probably pick up some supplies there. If you think that this last to leave the boat challenge is gonna be a lot of fun, give this video a thumbs up. So we've just arrived at Granville Market. The marina is really close to here, and these markets are huge, so I'm sure we're gonna be able to pick up all the supplies we need. Timo, what are you gonna bring? Uh, I'm definitely gonna bring a lot more food this time. Yeah, food has definitely been our biggest obstacle so far. That and the fact that the tent and the treehouse both didn't have a toilet. Hey, do you think the boat has a toilet? Hopefully. Wait, so the only real supply that you're bringing is food? Yeah, I think so, why? Okay, so what do you call that? Oh, this? Oh, it's such a part of me. Sometimes I even forget it's even here. But why are you bringing an inflatable donut? This isn't just an inflatable donut, Holly. It's an inflatable life-saving device. We're heading out in the high seas. It's important we adhere to the strictest safety standards. All right, good point. We definitely don't want someone to leave the boat and end up sinking. However, how about you leave that in the car? We'll go get our supplies at the market and we'll pick it back up on our way to the boat. The market was super fun. We got a whole bunch of supplies for the boat and now we're just walking down to the marina See if we can find this bird. Here we go. Whoops. I wonder which boat it is. Holly, is it this one? I don't think so. Is it this one? No, I don't think so. What about this one? That one's pretty cool, but no, not that one. That one's called Monopoly. Huh. So it is. We're looking for a boat called Long Way Home. Oh, is this Cool! Oh my oh, gosh! It's really big. It's huge! Massive! It's like a ship! <gasps> wow! This is gonna be so much fun! Oh man, this is so cool! This is way bigger than I thought it would be! It must be worth at least 10 million dollars! Alright Timo, but the important thing here is are you ready? to start this challenge. I think so. Okay, because as soon as we set foot on this boat, the challenge begins and the last to leave is the winner. Last to leave the boat wins $10,000? Oh my gosh, every time we do a challenge, you ask if you're gonna win $10,000. Like you think you just get $10,000 for doing anything. $10,000 is a lot of money. Wow, $10,000. No, I didn't say- $10,000. Timo? 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 Hello? He didn't even blink. Okay, whatever. I am starting this challenge. Trained family of seals, here I come. All right, here we go. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. So what should we do first? Didn't your dad's friend say he's gonna leave us a note? Oh yeah, it probably has all the instructions we need on how to sail the boat, where to find our seal family, what to do if we encounter pirates. Pirates? Yeah, pirates. We're heading to the high seas. I just saw some pass by a second ago. I don't know if I've ever told you before, but I'm afraid of- Pirates? You're afraid of pirates? No, I'm afraid of talking parrots. What? I just don't understand how they sound like humans. 
makes me really uneasy. Okay, well, I don't anticipate that being a huge problem, so let's just look for the note. It's another pirate. <gasps> oh no. It's only a small boat. It's a single, single person boat. They're definitely heading this way. Okay, so this must be the living room. There's a super cool little like stove thing over here. I don't see any note though, so. Oh, Timo, there's a downstairs. Look. Oh my gosh, there's a little downstairs area. So cool. This is so cool. Mind going, your head. Going below deck. All right, there's a bunch of different doors here. Maybe the notes. It's in this one. Maybe the notes in here. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, whoa, this is the engine room. It's the engine room. It's ginormous. That's so cool. I don't think that that's the kind of place though that you would leave a note. So we'll just lock that back up for safety. And let's see, should we see what's in here? See what's in there. This is the head. Ah, toilet. Found the toilet. All right. Well, now we know that there's a toilet on the boat. Timo, we could stay here for ages. This is a competition that's never gonna end. That's true. Oh, cool! Look! Oh, there's a second toilet! Whoa, it's a giant bed! Oh, oh and a mirror! Gosh. Hi! Oh! oh. A and a shark! This is so cool! Oh, and another toilet. Yeah! And a bathroom. Hello! Oh my gosh, okay, let's see the rest of this boat. Oh, I think there's more down here. Looks Whoa, like this boat's huge! Oh my gosh, there's a whole other room! Look! Oh my gosh, there's bunk beds! There's four bunk beds! Whoa! Whoa. This is crazy! You could sleep so many people up here. And look at the portholes. There's like a ladder. There's a ladder that goes all the way up to the second floor. Oh, show us out the porthole. That's Grab so the cool. Okay, okay. Here, look. You can look out the porthole. You can see if any seafarers are approaching on the docks. Hey, there's a light switch. Hey! Cool! That's over here. What's in there? Let's look. Oh, it's a shower! Oh, whoa! It's a little tiny shower! Cool! So cool! Whoa, what's in here? I think it's like a storage room. Yeah, it looks like a little workshop. So cool! There's all sorts of stuff in here. There's a freezer. Oh my gosh, we could spend ages on this boat. Years even. Years even? Yeah. We haven't even finished looking up the upstairs and we haven't even been upstairs. Coming upstairs! Okay, uh, let's go upstairs, upstairs. Let's see. How to get, oh my gosh, look, it's a kitchen. Oh, a kitchen. There's a kitchen in here. Man, I'm gonna be able to cook so many awesome meals. There's a stove and a microwave and a sink. There's everything. Look, and we can go outside this way. Wow, this is so cool. So we should go to the front of the boat. Yeah, 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 let's go to the front of the boat. Oh, oh yes, okay, this is where I'm gonna do the steering. This is where I'm gonna do my seafaring. Um, this is the marine engine control, great. All right, yeah, it feels pretty good. Feels good to be back at the helm. Yeah. You know, I've never actually been at a helm, but it feels good to be back nonetheless. Um, yeah, no, this, this, is, this is pretty nice. We can do some good steering. Okay, there's another set of stairs over here. Let's see where this goes. Okay. Up you come. Whoa, this is so cool. I know, look. You can swap the deck. I ain't swap no deck, Arr. This can be our escape boat. So in the in the event of a giant storm, if the if the big boat is going down, if we're sinking, we've always got this escape boat. Oh, might need a little bit of air in there. It's a safety measure that we'll address later. And then look, this is so cool. Oh, can't go down this way. You can wave at the other boats. Ahoy. Where should we go now? I think down there. There's another. Oh, another there's a whole other pit. Ooh. What's up here? Wow. Cool. There's surfboards. Oh, wow. All sorts of surfboards. There's Some bikes. bikes. I don't know when we would use bikes on the ocean. Maybe if we want to go for like a um, ocean floor bike ride. Is that a thing? But then we'd be leaving the boat, Holly. True. We'd okay. Lose the competition. Yep. Pan that idea. Timo, have you seen the note yet? No, but the pirates are coming back. Oh, no. Look at them, they're Where coming they're straight for us. Oh no. Okay, maybe we should put we should put up our pirate flag and then they will think that we are just fellow pirates. Did we, did we bring a pirate flag? I didn't bring one, did you bring one? No, okay. That's not a good idea then. They're getting closer. They're getting way closer. Oh my gosh. What are we gonna do? They look like serious pirates. Okay. 
Maybe they didn't see us. I think they're heading off around the bay. Okay, they've almost definitely spotted some other victims. I think we might be safe for now. I think they might come back around though because there's a, a couple of people on these weird kayak bicycles who uh, look like they might be about to get boarded. Timo, I think we should stay in the cabin for now just in case those pirates come back. I don't want them to see us on the outside of the boat. Good idea. I don't think we looked at the helm. Is that what it's called, the helm? Yeah, it's the helm. Okay, I don't think we fully looked at the helm. Just passed through the massive kitchen. And, oh wow, I think there's a cat that lives on this boat sometimes. Oh yeah, this is... <gasps> I found the note. Ah, cool. Feels pretty good up here in the uh, captain's chair. All right. Dear Holly and Timo, Hope you enjoy filming on the boat. Just remember, you can't drive the boat uh, without a valid boating license. Do you have a boating license? I don't even have a driver's license. I guess this means we're not driving this boat anywhere. But what about my SEAL family? They're waiting for me. Don't worry, Holly. We'll find them one day. Hopefully the pirate parrots won't bother us while we're docked here. Yes, that must be a big relief for you. <laughs> nah, I wasn't worried at all. I was so worried. So what are we gonna do? We can't sail the boat. Holly, the challenge has already begun. The only way off this boat is to forfeit the challenge. Now, if that's what you wanna do, you're welcome to leave the boat. I'm not leaving the boat that quickly. We've only been on the boat for like 30 minutes. In fact, I am so confident that I'm not going to be leaving the boat that I should probably decide which bed I want to sleep in tonight. Breaker, breaker, need to figure out where I'm going to sleep tonight. Got to win this challenge. Breaker. Dave's the big bed. No, Timo, that's not how it works. You have to touch it. Okay. No. No. Ah. That's fine, actually. I really wanted the bunk bed. Uh, are you gonna sleep on the top or the bottom? Okay, I think I will sleep on the top bunk because I think the top bunk feels a little bit more special. Like, it kind of feels like I'm sleeping in the bunk of like a massive, massive ship, which seems pretty cool. Um, let me know in the comment section what you would pick. Would you wanna sleep on the top bunk or the bottom bunk? You also get to see if there's pirates coming. Yeah, that's actually a great point. I can try to look for pirates through my porthole and I can give like an early alert to the crew. Maybe you can also spot your seals. My seal family. Oh, I think I might actually go to bed. I'm getting a bit tired. Okay, I think I'm gonna stay up for a bit, but good night. Okay, so if you watched my last Leave the Tent Challenge video, you'll know that I managed to win that challenge by scaring Timo with a super scary ghost story. I don't think he's gonna fall for another ghost story this time, but I'm wondering if maybe I could make him think that this boat is haunted. But before I do any sort of like hauntings, I should probably mention the idea to him that the boat is haunted, then I can kind of like plant the idea in his mind. If you think that this plan might help me win this challenge, give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, come in. Hey. Hey, sorry, I know you're trying to go to sleep, but I thought I should let you know that um, my dad's friend actually left uh, another note and it said that the boat is pretty haunted. So if you hear any like weird, creepy noises in the night, it's uh, probably just ghosts. Good night! Oh wait, where did you find that note? Oh, it was just on the back of the uh, first note. See? I swear that wasn't there before. Yeah, I mean, could have been written by the ghost itself. Ghost ink. Hmm. It's really not a big deal, Timo. I think a lot of these boats are probably haunted. I mean, think of all the haunting opportunities. A fisherman lost at sea, an unfortunate passenger falling overboard. Frankly, I'm surprised that all of these boats aren't haunted. Okay, thanks for warning me, I guess? Hey, no problem. And don't forget, there's always the shore if you need to escape the ghost boat. Okay, I'm pretty sure he bought it. Now it's time to plan my haunting, okay? So it's almost 3 a.m., which Timo thinks is the most haunted hour. So I think it's a good time to stage this haunting. Let's hope Timo falls for it, and then I get to win three out of three of these last sleep challenges. What's that noise? Sounds like chains being dragged across the floor of the boat. I hope that's not a ghost. I'm sure it's not a ghost. I'm just imagining things. All right, that was stage one. Maybe I'll sleep with the lights on, just in case. Okay, that's better. Even if there is a ghost, which there isn't, they'll never come near me with my bedside light on. Ah, who did that? Holly? Why aren't these lights working? I'm gonna go try and find Holly. Holly? Hey, Holly. Where are you, Holly? 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 
Holly? What are you doing in there? I was worried. I was trying to win the challenge. You were? This was all a trick. There was no ghost. Yeah, you're right. I was just trying to trick you. Well, it was a good try, but it didn't fall for it. I'm pretty tired from all this ghost planning. I'm gonna actually just go to bed. Holly, wake up. What time is it? It's already 11. 11? Yeah, you must be really tired. Were you up all night planning that haunting? Yup. Wasn't a great use of time. What do you think we should do on the boat today? Uh, maybe have something to eat first? Good idea. Look, I'm sorry again about the whole haunting thing last night. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try anything like that again. Are you okay? You look really tired. Yeah, I am actually. I might just go have a nap. Okay, now that she's gone, I'm gonna set up my own plan to try to scare her off this boat. I brought in my supply bag this freaky looking snake. Holly really didn't like those bugs that I put into her head during the last to leave the tent challenge. So I think if I plant this snake somewhere on the boat, she'll get so scared that she'll run straight out into the dock. Just a short nap. Then I'll go try to win this challenge again. I think Holly's asleep now, so I'm gonna sneak down to her bunk and put this snake in there. Get up. Hey. Oh, hey, you're up. Yeah, I slept way longer than I wanted to. And was it a good sleep? Yeah, great. Super comfortable. Nothing unusual and frightening down there? What? No? Are you talking about the ghost again or something? Never mind. She must not even have seen it. Doesn't matter. I'll get her next time. Wow, Holly, check out how big that boat is over there. Yeah, it is pretty big. I think I'm gonna go sit in the sun. She didn't see it again. All right, I'm not giving up. <gasps> Holly, there's a snake right next to you. Go away, snake. Well, that's not even a real snake. Are you sure? Maybe we should back away and just leave the boat just in case. I mean, maybe we should. Hey, are you trying to trick me? What? Me? Never. Look, it's clearly plastic. Not a real snake. Okay, you're right. I thought I could scare you off the boat. It was a valiant effort, Timo, but you're gonna have to do a bit better than that. Good morning, Cunicorns. It is day three of our last to leave the boat challenge, and unfortunately, neither competitor is really showing any signs of giving up. For those keeping track, this is the third last to leave challenge that Timo and I have done together, and I am two for two. So that means that if I win this challenge, I will be on maybe the biggest winning streak of my life. I wouldn't count on that. All right, Timo is clearly feeling very confident. Are you planning something? No, never. I'm definitely planning something. Okay. I'm gonna go make some more tea. I have this feeling that Timo's planning something. Okay, I need to be on the lookout for any tricks that he might be trying to play. What was that sound? Timo? Timo, you okay? I think he must have dropped something in the water. Okay. Timo! Oh my gosh, where is he? What's this? What happened here? Did he go in the water? Timo? Timo, where are you? He must have fallen in, but I don't see him. Okay, I need to get help. Okay, I'm sure he's fine. Timo's a really good swimmer. Even if he did fall in, I'm sure that he's totally fine. Oh, I'm fine. <gasps> Timo, where were you? I was so worried. Oh, I was just up here winning this challenge. Oh no, I left the boat. That's right, which means I am the winner. But I was worried about you. I was just trying to help. Oh, I'm very grateful. But the fact remains, I have won this challenge. All right, fair enough. I guess I can accept one loss. Good game. 
So, do I win $10,000? You got to spend three whole days on a super cool boat. Surely that's worth $10,000. So you're saying I don't get $10,000? Nobody is getting $10,000. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now and hit the notification bell so you get notifications because we make fun videos like this all the time. And if you like them, it'd be nice to find more. And there's some more videos on the side of your screen right now that you can watch. I'll see you really soon. Bye, buddies.